security guard witness to shooting just went missing before a public interview, look where he's at now. The truth has a way of revealing itself and as details come out that were kept in secrecy, the Las Vegas shooting is shaping up to be far more mysterious than originally thought. This is based on what's gone missing, what's been changed, and what's surfaced in the days since the shooting despite some of authorities' best efforts to hide it. Authorities took 12 days to really address the findings of the country's deadliest shooting in modern history. This press conference was riddled with accusatory statements about the public jumping to conclusions and conspiracies. They can't blame people for asking some pretty obvious questions during days of silence when inquiring minds simply wanted answers that investigators were beyond reluctant to release. Now, we're learning that a key witness to the shooting, who was shot by Stephen Paddock six minutes before he opened fire on the concert crowd, went missing and it probably wasn't a coincidental disappearance. For nearly two weeks, the public has been waiting and wanting to know more about Paddock's motive as well as answers to inconsistencies in the information provided by the FBI, Las Vegas police, and even Mandalay Bay where the shooting took place. Since there was silence from authorities, the public's only hope was on what would come out from the Mandalay maintenance worker, Jesus Campos, shot minutes before concertgoers were hosed down by gunfire. The publicized press release was as controlled as the information contained within it. We can only assume that the conference was conducted out of reluctance and public scrutiny for having not spoken on the matter in nearly two weeks. The Gateway Pundit reported that conservative reporters were blocked from attending the information debut by investigators who seemingly botched the investigation. This only added to the conspiracy discussed within it they also didn't answer where Campos was and why he suddenly disappeared before his scheduled interviews. Sheriff Joe Lombardo held a press conference on Friday. The embattled sheriff flashed out at the public for the conspiracy theories surrounding the worst mass shooting in modern U.S. history, Gateway Pundit reported. The Las Vegas Police Department blocked conservative reporters Laura Loomer and Mike Tokes from entering the presser. Loomer and Tox are in Las Vegas and broke several news reports on this confusing and outrageous investigation into Stephen Paddock and his massacre of dozens of country music fans at an outdoor festival. This comes only hours after Campos was scheduled to speak to members of the press about what he witnessed in those minutes between being shot by Paddock and the mysterious massacre that went down. Campos was unavailable for that interview since he was nowhere to be found but the information concealing authorities were suddenly available. This can't be ironic and is perhaps well planned, even if it was decided within hours of Campos going on air. So, where did the security guard with all the information that the authorities wanted to hide turn up? Hidden from sight while Las Vegas police took his place in what seems like an effort to continue to control the narrative of the situation to prevent the facts from coming out. This, perhaps, remains the bigger question than who Paddock is who could have been the fall guy for something else which may never be determined. Fox News reports. The Mandalay Bay security guard shot by Stephen Paddock in the moments leading up to the worst mass shooting in modern U.S. history was set to break his silence Thursday night with five television interviews, including one on Fox News, Campos Union president said. Except when the cameras were about to roll and media gathered in the building to talk to him, Campos reportedly bolted, and, as of early Friday morning, it wasn't immediately clear where he was. We were in a room and we came out and he was gone, Campos Union president told reporters, according to ABC News' Stephanie Washington. Campos is represented by the International Union, Security, Police and Fire Professionals of America which did not respond to requests for comment from Fox News earlier this week. Little is known about Campos, with few pictures to emerge of the security guard and no apparent online footprint surfacing to provide details about one of the central figures in the mass shooting. SPP President David L. Hickey told reporters new information about the timeline of the attack, for which Las Vegas police and MGM resorts have given conflicting accounts, doesn't dispute Campos is still a hero for saving a maintenance worker and possibly stopping additional shots, Wash reported. MGM Resorts issued a statement Thursday to correct some of the misinformation that has been reported. 
we know that shots were being fired at the festival lot at the same time as, or within 40 seconds after, the time Jesus Campos first reported that shots were fired over the radio, the statement said. Metro officers were together with armed Mandalay Bay security officers in the building when Campos first reported that shots were fired over the radio. These Metro officers and armed Mandalay Bay security officers immediately responded to the 32nd floor. In the most recent police timeline, provided Monday, Clark County Sheriff Joe Lombardo said Paddock fired about 200 bullets from his room at the resort starting at 9.59 p.m. on October 1st, the volley in which Campos was hit, and then began opening fire on the music festival crowd six minutes later. Police had earlier said the opposite, that Campos was struck after Paddock started firing out the window. The 58 victims and every single loved one of theirs who feel failed by this investigation deserve answers, not more excuses for every mystery that arises. It's time for the FBI to answer the questions that Americans have the right to know for their own safety and for the Mandalay Bay to address why they didn't call the cops after their employees were shot. Were shot.